Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the continuation of Seer of Mana. Solo character challenge with just a lady. Restarting the timer and well, here we are. What did we do last time? Right, last time we just went ahead and defeated the watermelon boss. Now we need to go ahead and defeat the... Hydra and everything that is in the underground. What is our current equipment status? Right, we had pretty good equipment. Doc Light, subscribe to Twitch Prime. Thank you. Thank you very, very much, Doc Light. Welcome to you. And well, I hope you enjoy your stay. Thank you so much. And thank you, Lentlet, for the host. Appreciate that. Oh, <laughs> I'm glad to hear that, Doc Light. Thank you so much. Alrighty, northeast of here is the Mana Palace. That's where we need to go. Well, let's see how well or well, not so well we are going to be doing. Um, I currently don't really plan on using Lucid Barrier. I think if we have proper armor, that is not usually a problem. What is? What's that? Do mimics just straight up spawn here? Is that normal? Or was that one of the shapeshifters just leaving a mimic behind? I'm so confused right now. I mean, it couldn't be a chest there, eh, right? I wouldn't know about that question mark. I have no idea what that thing was about. <laughs> Oh, I could actually use wall to prevent enemies from absorbing MP from me. That sounds like a reasonable idea. Only two charges, but it's something. Thank you, very good luck. Kind of no use that. Take care, just Deutsche. Thank you for dropping by, and I wish you good luck. I keep forgetting whether it's left or right here. The left. Let me actually kill some basilisks. Oh, I'm going to run off. It's only four charges after all. So I need to remember that. Oh. Well, I just gave him critical hits. Wow, I gave the other guy critical hits too. And on top of that, Oh, shoot. <laughs> well, that was my own mistake. <laughs> uh, good job. I underestimated their potential with critical hits and petrification, removing half of my current HP. To be fair, I'm pretty sure petrification was not even necessary. <laughs> oh, boy. Alrighty, no wall. We should have a much enough magic defense that they only absorb one MP at a time. Also, I should have loaded the other saves now that I think about it. That would have been way faster. That would have been way faster. Let's see real quick. Oh, it is a gray slime. He just left a mimic there. I was so confused for a moment. Grey slimes can duplicate into one of three different things, I believe. It's a rabbit, it's an eggplant man, it's a grey slime, and also a mimic, actually, it's four. Yeah, it's only one MP absorbed, so I think it's alright. I actually invest more MP into wall than they absorb MP from me, so there's that too. Should I go and duplicate the boomerang, by the way? Not a good idea. Maybe. I'm actually curious whether 
boomerang has a good thing. Oh, I'm pretty sure I did the input correctly, but it didn't duplicate that chest. Maybe it's because the chest is right at the entrance, although we did have the same setup in Gold City Tower as well. But that's curious. I really love like those guys. They absorb matching way, way too quick. I did just spam that. Not a fan. The thing is, as I said before already a few times, I'm pretty sure their script is the exact same as the SNES version. But the thing is, they take actions quicker, which is the entire problem about it. They shouldn't be able to hurt me, I don't think. I'm actually not sure. No, actually Basilisk should be able to, because I don't have leader stages equipment. So it does make sense that they can actually hit me. Okay, Luna's now level 4. Next spell cast of Luna. Goodbye. It's now going to be... 5 critical hits guaranteed. So, speaking of wall... No, I actually don't have to prepare anything. Aside from maybe I should equip the other weapon. So, the upcoming boss, Hydra, here is actually really weak to... Fire. So what I can do is just fire bouquet him. Over and over again. This should deal pretty decent damage overall. Yeah, 265, that is quite substantial, honestly. And thanks to the remake allowing you to cast spells as soon as you recover MP, during the animation still, it allows me to cast a bit quicker here, which is nice. On top of that, because I use Fire Bouquet, the physical attacks of the Hydra would not even be terribly dangerous overall. Although I'm going to move out of the way of this one. Oh. Never mind, it's not a physical attack, he just is sitting back now. Interesting. Match his skill leveled up. Now we deal even more damage to this poor guy. Three hundred seventy-one. Nice. Hydra is usually a rather easy prey for the lady, just because her magical damage output is decent. It's not good. It's okay, but it's definitely more than good enough for someone who has relatively little magic defense and is weak to fire. I'm actually curious how much damage she would do against the uh, Kettlekin. Kettlekin could be interesting because apparently I can't hit him from the front. I have to hit him only on the backside. Which... I don't think... No, that's not in the original, is it? At least that would be news to me. Hey, Agony and Psycho Sheep, welcome. How are you doing? So, I do think for the next area do you want to have this barrier. So... I have the additional numbers, which is incredibly useful, but I don't think that entirely protects me overall. I'm actually going to keep the... Cloth equipped. See is right, Desmond Tempest. Welcome, how are you doing? Um, I would like to kill some more basilisks. If with a bit of luck I get a nice helmet from them. 
would be quite a bit of luck, but it's possible. Also, I really feel like I should put more emphasis on speed up. Night, the earth slight damage on top of everything else. Those guys attack incredibly fast, by the way. Way faster than they should, in my opinion. But at the same time, I think that's the same speed. It's just usually they're not a problem. Are you untargetable again? Let me give you fire bouquet. Maybe that unlocks you... ...to being hittable again. I guess that works too. Hey Zoltana, welcome. How are you doing? Huh, that's exactly what I was hoping for actually, just to refill my magic. Gem missile. Only Basilisk cast gem missile, but there were none. Maybe I'm wrong, and those scorpion thingies actually cast gem missile too. Probably. I like how you can just push enemies and you don't even get hit doing that. It's kind of neat. Once again, I would like to kill those basilisks. Oh no! Huh! Wait, is that a... Is that a farming place for basilisks? That's two basilisks incredibly quickly. So if you are looking for basilisk spawn for the cockatrice camp, that sounds really good to me. That's interesting. I have no idea there were two basilisks spawn here. I don't know whether that's true to the original as well, and this would be a better place to farm the cockatrice cap compared to where I usually did it. Bonk. 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 Hey Blood, welcome. How are you doing? No! Oh no! I accidentally stepped off the switch. Come on guys, you don't deal damage to me anyways. Don't even try. You're fine? That sounds nice. One of those critical hits was a natural crit. Let's try this again. Also, I'm actually going to try something here real quick. I should have tried this uh, before, but I didn't think about it. It's 
So the thing is, you see, this is like a mini ramp, it feels like, rather than anything else, but the verticality does not allow me to pass through, I don't think. Also, I don't think this is an overlapping seam like it is in the other cases where you can snap onto another ledge. I do believe we tried that before. Just wanted to confirm again. Wow, he ca started casting before it was even off screen. Rude. Great to see you, guess. How are you doing? Oh, I, I hope she would continue sliding while. I'm going down there. Something else I probably should do is use Flame Saber. Did I try Solar Plus Candy there? I do think I did at some point, but not right now. I can't do that with a solo character. All the low damage rolls. Pretty strong, I would say. She's more like a berserker rather than anything else. Next level rather soon, actually. Oh, that poor duck is just engulfed in flames. I did not even know there were duck spawns here. Let me check how much experience is there. Six, five, six, five, five eight, two. That's a lot of experience from those ducks. Poor little guy. I'm looking to get a level so I don't have to use a fairy walnut. I will probably need it in order to traverse the Grand Palace. The fairy walnut, that is. That thing has 6 HP left, apparently. I had no idea there were this many Dark Stalkers around here, actually. We leveled up, let's go. You're doing good, that sounds nice. Oh wow, I see. Welcome. I didn't necessarily expect anyone to visit from there. That's interesting. And greetings to you, x welcome. How are you doing? an article about Yaga? Hey, well, it is in German. Yes. He asked me for an interview. And I decided to answer. So let's see. Speed up should... Allow me to hit that guy more or less reliably. The question is whether... Strength down on the Kettlekin is still better or not. Or whether I can even hit this guy, because I think I can only hit him from the backside. So I may have to cast a spell in order to get to the, his backside. So I'm casting Fire Pookie basically no matter what to reduce his attack. Lunar boost. Oh, and that's bad. Alrighty, so he established Lucid Barrier there, which means I will have a hard time punching through his defense. So what I'm going to be doing <clears throat> is I'm just going to keep using regular slashes in conjunction with Fire Bouquet. Okay? 
he does have very, very little maximum HP. So I kind of hope that would be able to preserve a fairy well not here, but it doesn't look like it. So we're just using it here. Fire Bouquet level 5 is still decent-ish damage. Probably a lot more than me trying to hit him repeatedly. And he should be dead in just a few spell costs here. Good night. He has a really, really low maximum HP. Is there any good source or detailed information inside the game regarding effects or abilities of armored weapons? Um. Let's put it this way, the TAS video threat does have gigantic dumps of information as to what each individual piece of stuff does. I have my own little spreadsheet that I assemble at some point for the game. Let me link that to you real quick. Um, this is not... well, I guess... As, I don't, ha I don't think I have any sensitive information in there, so here, this is the spreadsheet I use for doing stuff. There should be weapons, there should be armor in there. However, that does not count for the remake. In the remake, they changed a few numbers around. For example, certain weapons uh, give you plus one agility, plus one strength, etc. In the remake, it seems like they give you plus two instead. Which is, well, twice as good, right? I guess it's slightly better. So either way, I need the sprite to help me through here, which is kind of somewhat important. So it's a rather odd the game holds its secret in so many instances. I'd actually say it's less about trying to keep it secret and more about it not having a clue how to display it. That is probably more accurate. So, right, I don't actually have to go there. I can just wait now. Also, apparently there is a couple of wishes duplication thing going on, where you can go beyond the limit of what you can normally get in terms of item. So I'm curious about that. I still need to look into that, though. Rip boy. So as long as the sprite survives, we are fine. Also, I obviously can't really kill any enemies while... I'm not sure the sprite might have gotten hit or not. No, he didn't. That's nice. As long as the sprite is alive, or the boy for that matter, I don't want to kill any enemies. I do try to keep them at the lowest possible level. It's not a requirement for the solo ca the challenge category, in my opinion. But I like keeping it that way. Ah, oh, rip sprite. Oh wow, that's what I mean by if the sword messes you up. Makes sense. That's my MP, you can't just absorb that. Wow, that was 9 MP absorbed. That doesn't make sense. It should be 1. Wait, what enemy out there even absorbs MP? Was that a Marma Blue out there? That I didn't even see. Probably was a Marma Blue, wasn't it? So we need some fire. The sprite is running out of MP now. Yeah, I shouldn't take any damage there. Preferably the sprite would also not take any damage. Uh, unfortunately the sprite actually ended up dying. After all. Oh, it didn't even cost him MP. That is super rude. 
Let's see. Can I absorb magic from those guys? Well, kind of not, I guess, to an extent. <laughs> basically standing right in front of the sprite so he hopefully doesn't get targeted by those little devil thingies ah I tried to push it away but that didn't quite work alrighty um, here's a weird little quirk I opened up the thingy there, right? Stop attacking me, please. And for some reason, this makes this wall here reappear? It's really strange. There's no real reason for that to happen, but it does happen. By the way, this orb, uh, this chest here should be there multiple times. <clears throat> because I didn't grab all the sword orbs so far. That is normal, by the way. That is basically a catch-up chest type of situation. So I need to sprite two more times. How many cups of wishes do I have? Three. Three? I used it twice on the sprite. He, he should... I shouldn't only have two left. That's so weird. Right, now I'll actually have to give the sprite a fairy walnut. Which actually in turn means I do not have enough MP. Unless I level up with the lady. But then I need still the sprite active again. I'll need to check how close I'm to a level up for the lady. Here. Uh, I guess it's decently close for how far we are. I can try to kill some of those sword enemies. No. I would like for you guys to kill the sprite rather than... There we go, thank you. Rather than miss all the time. Nice. Alrighty. So far, so good. So essentially, I need a 10,000 experience in order to level up. Two swords almost uh, bring me there, so that's nice. Let's see whether a level 4 charge attack is good enough already. Well, it might be if I hit. I'm actually going to reset here because if I kill two swords now, it should level me up. Alright, that's unfortunate. So essentially the swords at this point still have like a 40% chance to dodge. It is actually probably slightly less than 40% but not much less. It would be a fair bit less if we had the boy as our solo character because he does gain agility quicker and thus he... Thus he basically increases his hit rate by quite a bit. By the way, do those... Did I just read that right? And it actually has a more descriptive thing of telling you what just happened. Kind of looked like it.
The lady's basic attack is actually really good right now, thanks to the upgraded decks. I'm still contemplating whether I should try and see whether I deal more damage with one le higher level upgrade of an axe, or whether it's going to be less. Because I'm losing out on the strength rallies. Alrighty. We should have enough MP for the sprite to activate this last orb here. I'm not going to revive him until we are certain that we can survive. So I'll revive him here now. Now this is the last time I actually need this right. For the rest of the game, he can just pretty much stay dead. Preferably. Alrighty, there we go. I do want to go ahead and give myself speed up. I always speed up would also allow you to charge up your weapons quicker. It kind of makes sense. Or some other buff spell that is otherwise not used could have that quality. Looks like the little lizard decides to walk into a wall. That works for me. He's actually weak to fire. I'm not sure why that didn't critically hit him. Cure water level 5, 470 damage. Unfortunately, I missed there. Uh, He just grabbed me right out of my attack there. That's less than ideal. Wow. Alright. We might be in trouble here. I don't have any magic left. Whew. <laughs> that was not a whole lot of HP left over. I think I have to try and work with a critical hit, but the problem is right now that I think he will just straight up grab me out of my attack instead of being able to get hit first. Actually, I can probably do this, exactly. Alrighty, we, we got it. It's fine. We're okay. So, I'm actually really curious whether my strategy is going to work against Hexas. Actually, Hexas might be a problem. Hexas might be a problem. I have actually never thought about this until just now. In the remake, Hexas, I think, changes forms. In without me fulfilling those obscure requirements, like you need to do in the original, to be far enough away, etc. So I'm curious whether that's going to be true now here as well. Uh, where is the War Palace? Nikos? That's exactly where I wanted to go, actually. <laughs> I don't know if you played this before, but you can revive your teammates with a couple of wishes when they die. That is true. I may have played this game for a little bit. Just a little. I don't need those anymore. Oh, 
How's the run? Quite fine. How are you doing, Sir Manny Jeffs? A mark of wishful thinking. Tea? I like tea. Tea sounds nice. Alright, I'm actually really curious how Hexas is going to wa uh, work out. Hexas has pretty strong magic overall. We are decently well protected. But I wonder how good the protection really is. Like in the original, I could just use a barrel. Oh, the barrel is gone. Lovely. In the original, I could just use a barrel and I would be 100% protected of Hexas. Ability to hurt me in any way, shape or form and I would just wait until she runs out of magic. Let's see whether that's true here too. This the magic is exactly what I expect her to cast. Can I? Oh, she casts Lava Wave straight up. Wait, it doesn't hurt me? Oh, it's one damage. It does hurt me. But it's only one damage. Wow, I'm only taking one damage at a time. Of it. So that Van Brace increased magic defense since is insane. Also this lady just spams this magic. I wonder whether the barrel actually protects from magic damage as well. Here, can you? Oh, I don't want that. That's probably going to hurt. That's probably going to hurt actually. Yeah, that's quite painful, actually. Pigmas glare. So now with the fire rocket should deal less damage. Alrighty, that's fine. No, my charge attack. You're a meanie. You're a big, big meanie. So I think she just changed her form into her fire form without me noticing. Like, it doesn't look like <clears throat> she should have changed forms. But it's probably the fire form has a very subtle difference. The other forms do have differences in terms of color. You should run out of, mag out of magic eventually, right? Acid Storm is actually really bad for me. Because now my physical defense is reduced by quite a bit, actually. Okay, this is the Earth form. Does she just cycle through them? Because it definitely is not the same requirements as it, as it was in the original, in terms of. what needs to happen in order for her to cast those. Also, I think she's out of magic now. She spammed too many spells. Too bad. I'm still going to keep... What am I? 933. I'm actually still going to use here one fire bouquet on her, just to lower her strength. Because the physical attacks is what is remaining in terms of how dangerous she could be. And yes, Hexas was always a snake, actually. Like a Naga. Lamia. Stuff like that. Pigmas Glare, thanks to Fire Bouquet, that should not be an issue. 
Bang. And thanks to her no longer having any magic left over, this spell magic is not an issue either, where she would interrupt my spell cast. Oh. I think her fire bucket just faded. It seems like it did, she wouldn't deal any damage anyways. Even without the attack down, but might as well not risk it. Bam. Good night, Texas. Hey, Jenny, thank you for the host. I appreciate that. One damage because of equip, actually, does she though? So, spells still do go through battles. But oh, that's interesting. Did you ever see her from the side as much? No, actually, you always only see the front of her sprite in the SNS version. There's no side sprites for her. She slid this around harmlessly. Yep, that sounds about right. Here, could he run across? Thank you. So this guy could be dangerous. In fact, I'm going to use this Barry here. Um, because he essentially uses spells or abilities that hit multiple characters at the same time. And if he uses that on a single target, that's going to hurt, probably. Well, I missed completely. I wish the charge attacks had a bit more oomph behind them, kind of like the SNES version. Like just really over the top type of animations for the higher charge levels. That would be nice. It looks like I can just stand here and he just keeps going back and forth. He doesn't even have wall yet, I don't think. Wave Cannon. That's a single target attack. It's probably not too much damage. Still going to re-establish Lucid Barrier. He has wall? Oh, I missed that then. This fight is in the Mana Fortress? Yes, actually, it is. In fact, this is the exact arena that you enter just before you fight the Dark Lich in the Mana Fortress. This is the exact same place, actually. Which is why the teleport is here on the top left and the right there. In this place here. Diffuser cannon, that's a dangerous one. Oh, it didn't deal damage. I'm just going to recast Lucid Barrier here. Diffuser cannon is the one that hits all characters. That was four charge attacks, if I'm not mistaken. Basically... Just under 4,000 damage. At least he cannot run me over if I just stand on the side here. He's way less dangerous than I thought he would be. Boy, good night. Alrighty. I'm planning a 100% run of this game. I haven't really planned so far, but seeing how reasonably quick Jire got through the game, 100% without too much prior knowledge, I feel like that might not be too unreasonable to try. Like it would be 16 hours-ish. It, it depends on how unlucky we get, but it would probably be a lot faster than the original anyways. The most dangerous part about him is being in the open. His dash just hurts. Yes, I'm not... Uh, that's actually kind of a weird thing. I don't know how his dash hurts. I just know sometimes he deals a ton of damage with his dash. And uh, that, that's just weird. Ding, 
So, we already have a vampire, so we buy this and this, and we have no money anymore. Huh. Alrighty, this gives us a substantial boost to our defense as well as this one. Only 23 more magic defense, interestingly enough. I would have expected that to be more. Either way, we are basically prepared to take on the Pure Lands. So where's the Pure Lands from here? Southeast it is. I forgot Cups of Witches. No. I still have some if necessary. I don't think they're necessary. Because there's no more orbs to activate in switches. One hit. The lucid barrier is gone. So the big question is whether since evasion up actually works, regardless. Let's see how this is going to go. His most dangerous moves are of physical nature. So I'm actually curious whether Defend there is going to help me here. Blessed Dragoon, thank you for the host, I appreciate that. His Earth Slide should deal much damage, yeah, it's really low in comparison. Petrification, yes. Ooh. Shouldn't deal damage, I don't think. Where are you, buddy? Nice hit. First light is okay, I don't mind. So yeah, this guy, he would be pretty dangerous with his melee attacks, but in the remake they are really harmless about melee attacks in general. He just slides in, casts a spell, or tries to anyways. I'm not sure what he just tried to do there. And that's that. Casting speed up now. Increasing my chance to hit by quite a bit, actually. This does not work in the original, which is why you don't see me using it there. But Defender should actually help me not take any physical damage at all. Waiting for your coffee. I hope you have a good coffee. <laughs> I ruined the game for you. The only sea cactus is now for the squirrels from Chippendale. I mean, is that really ruined? Still don't have proper Wi Fi signal upstairs. That's unfortunate. Hey, Narcotis, how are you doing? Welcome. Miss? I think I missed. So I could actually level up elemental magic in order to deal more damage overall, but I don't think it's necessary or even all that useful. I guess technically Salamanta would give me a damage boost. I'm actually wondering. This is level 0 Thunder Saber. I wonder how much damage that would deal. As in, I was about 900 each time attacked with those attacks here. Now it's 999. I don't even know how much more it is, I just know it's more than before. And yes, they didn't bother implementing petrification models or status or animation or skins for individual characters. It's always the same statue. Which is a bit unfortunate in my opinion.
she looks like Gadget. She actually does. I never really noticed that until someone mentioned, hey, you could name her Gadget. And it's very... It's very reminiscent, to say the least. I do think it, it does have a striking resemblance to an extent. Oh, I didn't even realize the other two were alive still. Thank you for the level up. Corrigan, just subscribed to Twitch Prime. Thank you. Thank you very much, and welcome to you. And well, I hope you enjoy your stay. Thank you very much. So going back with magic, because the next boss is weak to fire, and you know what that means. Salamanto is a pretty strong element after all. Alrighty, let's see. Level 6 fire bouquet. That's pretty substantial, actually. 426, wow, that's a lot of damage. And holy cow. Drake Tempest. Drake, feel free to correct me on that. Subscribe with, Twitch, subscribe with Twitch Prime as well. Thank you very much. I really, really appreciate that. Welcome to you as well. And well, I hope you enjoy your stay. Thank you very much, guys. That is really nice of you. What do you think about the renaming of our beloved cactus in the German version? Basically, from what I understand, they just made a complete retranslation without looking at the old scripts. Like, it feels like the translator did their best job, from what I can tell, but they had no idea what the original script contained, or they had the order to make it as close uh, to the Japanese version as possible. Either one of those is probably the case. I'm not going to blame the translators for how they handle that, let's put it that way. <laughs> so you reckon the next challenge run is going to be sprite only, no magic for the sake of challenge? No. I don't think so. That doesn't sound reasonable. Save your game, yes please. Okay, charging up on those guys doesn't seem like a good idea. Alright, yeah, not. Individual ones are fine to take out. By the way, those mushrooms? Are they just... Regular mushrooms now, but just stronger? And I guess they have a wall spell? Because those things, in the original, were insanely fast and incredibly aggressive, but they are nothing like that in the remake. They are not even a quarter of the same level of dangerous. I missed. I agree to see you, Rockadactylus. Welcome. So a character challenge goes quite fine so far, I'd have to say. So far we haven't run into any trouble. Things that could have been potentially tricky, turns out to be not really any problem. Please do not give me a chest with the armband in it, I would appreciate that. So, the next boss is probably not going to be too much of an issue either. Probably. I'm just curious. Those mushrooms were horrible in the original, yep. No, it's anything that has a projectile attack. So for some reason, this guy here, he can hit him from the front. That is not true for the original. You cannot hit him from the front. Also. This is new that it jumps down on the bottom left. This is very new. Further, I think what I want to do is to save as a great viper. Cast defender. I don't know how much damage lava wave would deal. He likes to jump up there it seems. He doesn't seem to jump into the middle anymore. 
Let's see, Fire Bouquet reduces my attack power. Still 728 damage. I dare to say is quite substantial. Denied the Sonic Pulse damage with a Defender. I could also use Fire Book here on him in order to reduce his attack power. Also, I could use Ice Saber. Especially timed well, so I don't even take damage from his attacks. He definitely jumps into very, very different places than what I'm used to. Also here. Speed up. Maybe I should just go after him and hit him. Oh, my crit ran out. Six more critical hits coming right in. Sonic Pulse, let's see how much damage that deals. Nothing. I feel like Defender is incredibly helpful here. Fire Bouquet reduces my strength again. There's actually nothing I can do about that. Well, I, technically speaking, Oh, I was still under the effect of Fire Bouquet from before. That's interesting. 11 damage, so he does a little bit of magic damage, but nothing substantial or even threatening. Bam. Going to cast a spell here just purely to not get put to sleep. Sleep cast doesn't seem like a fun idea to me. Good night, sir. We have seen him jump out of bounds like two weeks ago. What? Wait, was that on my stream? Next challenge is blindfolded percent. If it didn't have footsteps, when you are also running to a wall, that might be a lot more reasonable. But it does have footsteps. Here. Thank you. Alrighty, I already leveled up here. That's exactly what I wanted. Also, I forgot to split a few times. Once again, you can't really see the splits, but that's kind of by design for now. Let's see, level 4 should be enough to one-shot them, if I hit, that is. Which is kind of the problem in the first place. Another question might be whether I want to go ahead and level up Luna. Eh, uh, Lumina. For later. Right now it would be nice to have a better lucid barrier, but later on it might be really useful. Because it could allow me to... To actually cast spells against Buffy and the Dark Lich rather than Reliant Physicals. Especially on Buffy, that seems like it would be great. Sleep Ring. I don't know how much damage you deal, but you're going to deal even less damage now, good sir. There, alright. You actually just need to try and hit his tail in the remake. It's not exactly true for, his, for the original. Also, um, in the original, when he flies in, he casts a spell. Or an ability for that matter, that hits everybody. Did you just miss that? Breathwing was uh, an ability that always hits no matter what. Because it's a physical attack target specifically in your characters. But either way, in the original, this guy here flies in and while he is casting whatever ability he is casting, he's invulnerable to any sort of physical attack, which made it really, really difficult to actually hit him. But this does not seem to be true in the remake. Like, you seem to be able to hit him always, from what I can tell. Which is kind of nice, that makes him a lot less 
difficult to defeat. Actually, in to on top of that, in the original, whenever he was over one of those uh, podiums here, whatever you want to call those things, he, he didn't fly close enough. Whenever he was over one of those podiums here, those little elevated platforms, he was considered to be on high ground, which means physical attacks that are not ranged, which means anything that isn't a pole dart or the blow, boomerang worked in a really weird way, um, just straight up didn't register a hit either. So this is a significantly nicer way to deal with him right now. Good night, sir. They nailed the design of the dragons. I agree, yeah. The dragons look really awesome. <laughs> Q hacking the tail off and getting the dragon tail axe just like in Dark Souls. Yeah. Where's my axe? I guess I killed him before I destroyed his tail, so... That was a mistake. Probably. Oh, right, I... I still have a Nini weapon. I forgot about that. Don't seem to be frozen for particularly long, interesting enough. Let's use Defender here. To not get hit, lets you speed up to also not get hit. And also hit them, more specifically. And then we just one shot all three of those. Not sure about the sound effect for the griffin hand attacking there. Sounds a bit weird to me. Boom. Hi. By the way, to the right here, this shortcut is more obvious now than it was in the original. The original, you just kind of had to know there was an exit there. <laughs> Not really. You could figure it out, but was not obvious at all. So, alrighty. Now, first order of operation, I'm going to buff up. So the Thunder Gigas actually has incredibly strong physical attacks, or spells, ability, so to speak. However, the catch about those is, unfortunately for him, is that they are supposed to be single target, and supposed to be survivable after all. So... I should not have any trouble. Wow, Confusion got denied. Interesting. I should not have any trouble surviving his physical attacks at all. Also, he is vulnerable for way longer than the original. In the original, he had an incredibly brief window of opportunity where he could hit him with physical attacks. When he was vulnerable again after reappearing, before he was invulnerable, from casting a spell and basically creating a shield around him because of it. So this is significantly easier to hit, to say the least. Thunder Saber. Let's see, that was 850 damage for a level 6 charge attack. So it does deal less damage. Well, it could have been a low damage roll, but it very much looks like it's going to it's dealing less damage than previously. 
So elemental weapons do actually have an effect in this game. I'm brazenly certain. Not a big effect, like um, elements that are effective against a certain type of enemy. For the sprite spells, deal double damage or half damage if they are not effective. But it's not nearly as much of a difference for physical attack. Or not. That was a level 5 charge attack. Maybe it was just a low damage roll after all. Huh. Let's see again. 658. I think it was a low damage roll, guys. Maybe elemental weapons don't actually work. I, I still have no clue whether they do or do not work. Every single type of elemental weapon does add a bit of base damage to your weapon. Which seems to hold true for here as well. But maybe that base damage is greater than I anticipate? It's so hard to sell, actually. I have no clue. Solo challenge in the remake seems easier than the original, with the exception of Chabberwocky. I think that is absolutely true, yes. Which one did I cast? Chabberwocky is definitely more difficult. A fair bit more difficult, honestly. Lion. Right, actually that's the original name. I do remember now. There we go, leveled up. Speed up. Defend up. Um, DBD, I'm reasonably certain they straight up copied the scripts from the original. As in, at this point, I don't think they were that faithful in terms of they just tried to emulate everything. I think they straight up uh, ported the scripts over from the SNES version. Which, by the way, it always sounds so negative when I say that, but I don't think that's a bad thing. I think that's actually pretty awesome <coughs> doing it this way. And the reason why I am reasonably certain about that, like 99%, is because there's a super obscure thing that happens in the Emperor's Castle when you basically enter the cutscene just before the Mech Rider number 2 fight. And essentially what happens there is that the game... The game, for some reason, gives you experience and weapon experience for... Well, I have no idea why. That's a kind of a mystery in the original, too. But it just... it does that. Which... It does that, too, in the remake. And that's why I'm reasonably certain they copied the scripts. You're impressed they had access to the codebase that old? I mean... There's enough ROM hacks out there that they could just use some of those. But I guess that's not wrong. You like that they made running more useful? Yes, it's a lot nicer. Way, way better. Some people, uh, actually one person mentioned that they didn't like 
basically that you have a little bit of a turn radius around your character. I actually kind of personally enjoy that. Level 8x just in time for the end of Pure Lands. I actually personally enjoy that little bit of a turn radius. Like, it makes it seem as if you don't have absolute control over your character. But it is small enough that it's not an issue. To me, anyways. By the way, if you want to farm those guys here, this is a really good spot for that. Like, it just... Doesn't look like it. You just walk back in here, and then back down, and you can just one-shot that guy really easily. Especially with Lunar Boost, you just kind of go here, boom, hit him once, he dies, usually anyways. Preferably use the boy because he has a higher crit, uh, higher chance to hit. Oh, he did die. And then you check whether there's a chest somewhere around here. No, only Griffin Hand, no chests, let's go. And then you just reset real quick. <clears throat> it's actually really fast to farm them there. Alrighty. <clears throat> this is actually not a scrolling cutscene as well, although you can accelerate it if you want to. Elemental weapons making a huge difference. Yeah, the original actually had a flag set in the code where elemental weapons do or do not get activated. And apparently if you activate that, it's kind of overpowered because you just deal so much more physical damage apparently. Which I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Maybe they could have just compensated with a little bit more boss health or so? I don't know. <clears throat> Did I do a 100% run yet? No. I'm not usually the type of person to 100% the game, unless I really want to get everything out of it, essentially. Fools, feast your eyes upon the power of the Mana Fortress. Fire. <laughs> Say your official subscribe to Fitch Prime for three ROMs in a row. Thank you. Thank you very much. Welcome back to you, sir. Oh, well. I'm glad you enjoy your stay. BWE Zoo, thank you so much for one and a half years of support in a row. Holy cow, that's a long time my friend, welcome back. And I'm glad you enjoy your stay, thank you so much. Witness the pyre power of the fully armed and operational mana fortress. <laughs> SD3's elemental sabers, in comparison to spells, were incredibly strong, but I attribute this more to the spells not being terribly useful in Cyclone's SD3, at least offensive ones. Buffs and debuffs were incredibly powerful, except for speed up and speed down, since that didn't do anything.
Also, I guess I could skip that, but... I haven't really watched much of the cutscenes, because you can skip them. Normally in the speedrun, and at least on the SNES version, I am kind of forced to watch them. So I get more out of it, but... In the remake, since you can skip everything, it's just... You kind of miss out on those, especially good music pieces. And since while I try to go somewhat fast with the solo character challenge, I might as well sit back and relax and listen to music sometimes. If only lightsaber made your weapons glow and have a trailing aura, that would be pretty neat. I'm not sure they would get into trouble. Actually, it's Holy Saber now in this version, if I'm not mistaken. The timing on the music used, by the way, I think they did really well, too. Is the 3D model for the legendary knight the same as Gemma's? It does have a striking resemblance, doesn't it? To an extent, anyways. For all we know, it might have been his brother. But at the same time, I would like to point out the theory that me and Chaz came up with where... Thanatol's old body, or the current body that he has right now, is essentially actually your father's old body that he took over or something like that. That's just uh, fan fiction though. It's similar since they are both Maronites, but different. I guess that makes sense. Swords power fully restored. So by the way, I did not need to pick up the sword chests in the Grand Fortress. It was not. I actually did receive those straight up here as well. Head cannon, not fan fiction. I guess that makes more sense. To keep with the rescue rangers theme, I wish you could rename Gemma to Montgomery Jack. Which one is that? Uh, probably the one that is left from the team, isn't it? I've actually never watched it in English. Hmm. Actually, ironically enough, I think they probably changed lightsaber to holy saber to avoid issues with Star Wars. That is my theory. I don't know whether that's true or not. So, last time we are going to restock. Did I? Do I even need to restock? I haven't paid attention. Oh, I don't actually. Huh. 
Interesting. Um, also, a completely random question, out of context. What do you guys think about Might and Magic? Like the Might and Magic, not Heroes of Might and Magic, just Might and Magic. Actually, maybe also Heroes of Might and Magic. Let's say Heroes of Might and Magic 3 and Might and Magic 8. He's the big mouse who lost cheese and has a fly friend zipper around him all the time. Oh, I forgot about the fly. That's awesome. That's true. I remember now. I forgot about the fly. That Those two were really awesome too. I really liked watching that show. Unfortunately, as mentioned before, they didn't air it particularly long when I had the opportunity to watch it as a kid. I saw seen like 10 episodes, I think. Yeah, what Jonathan McClare said. Lumina suggests light elemental, not holy. So it makes sense to... It doesn't make much sense to rename, rename it to holy in the first place. Although it, they kind of had it like Saint Beam or... I guess light is generally associated with holy and such. By the way, you can open up the menu early here. It's kind of strange, but you can't call Flammy. So I wonder whether you can do some shenanigans here by entering the Mana Fortress early. So for the first part here, I'm going to keep the original soundtrack or theme. The craps are not doing anything. I'm going to keep the original track for... The remake, not, not original, original, you get the idea. Afterwards, I'm going to be switching over to um, the original. While I don't mind the remake, I personally prefer the original soundtrack for the Mana Fortress by uh, quite a lot, actually. Montgomery Jack, the German name? I have no clue. Also, I'm contemplating going back and forth here a little bit for maybe a better armor. I'm not sure how strong the mana piece is going to be. Maybe I want that armor, maybe it doesn't matter. That guy drops a fairy ring. I needed to wait a little bit. Also, by the way, for some reason, Wolf Lords have significantly less maximum HP than most other characters for that matter. Hey, call me Matic. Welcome, how are you doing? That's a really quick spot to farm those wolf lords. Only one at a time, but I dare to say that's good enough. I do also get a little bit of experience, so that's nice. Samson and Sami. Me. Right, I think that sounds about right. I need to wait here a little bit longer to recover stamina not too full. Chip and nail? Chip and nail. So I don't think I have enough agility to avoid the trap, so... It seems like even level 0 Analyzer uh, destroys the trap. But I do think a higher level Analyzer does have a different animation too. Alrighty, we got the Fairy Ring. That's exactly what I was aiming for. Would have been silly if I got accidentally the Claw Orb. So, I'm actually not sure that's all that good. 
Like, it's more defense, yes, but... Also, it has a lot of status effects. It's more defense, but I actually lose out on 5 strength. I'm not sure how important that is going to be. We'll see. I predict the Mana Beast fight is either going to be significantly easier or a fair bit more difficult than the original. I think it's going to be easier, but I don't actually know that. Wow, National Scar has a lot of HP. Also, let me real quick read up on potential answers. Sorry, I kind of spaced out a little bit on that. Let's see. Because I just only focus on the lightsaber. Here. Trained my match until 8. 9 was too buggy to play, and I could never get back after that. Right. That reminds me of RPG Genie, who made Let's Plays of 1 through 8. Started 9 and then never continued or finished it. I actually don't know why. I never watched that part. Since I was just waiting for it to be finished, but never did. 7 was your favorite. Bit buggy, but still enjoyable. I mean, to be fair... All of them were somewhat buggy, but yeah. Mana Magic 4 and 5 combine the same computer and make World of Scene. It's really a really unique experience. The later games, as, as others have mentioned, get buggy. Well, yes. I dare to say World of Scene is not necessarily bugless, but they are a lot more sophisticated too with their 3D movement. At least starting from 6, 7, and 8. 10 actually goes back to the square based movement, but that is even buggy too. I played a little bit of that. Greens to you. Oh. We have a collection set that is my magic 1 through 8. Interesting. Oops. I did not know, know that existed. I need to wait here. So my go current goal is to try and get... Wait, the Whimper doesn't help me, now that I think about it. I want to get the Helmet. Fairy Crown, I think. You don't matter, buddy. Fairy Cloak from... what was it? As you can see, it does Holy Saber instead of Lightsaber. Buddy, that is super rude. By the way, that switch always did that, which is why we avoid it in a speedrun. Re-elevate those crystal thingies. In case you're wondering what I'm talking about. <laughs> Mana Beast bucks out when his real lucky says it's one, not three characters. That would be... something. Um, do I try to use physicals on Buffy or do I go for... Lucid Beam. Let's try physicals first. I have no idea how well or not well this is going to work. Buffing up. This is attack up, the evasion down, so we have no evasion anymore. Speed up is evasion up, which I don't know whether that counteracts the evasion down. I have no clue about that, but... I do get quite a bit of damage in there. So the thing is, he's currently in the air. It's actually pretty hard to tell whether he's in the air or not. But that's a little bit awkward about that. I want him to grab me, because... That allows me to get in hits without him doing anything else. 
Plus, I think my defense is high enough that it just straight up don't take damage. It's not actually a miss. He doesn't miss, he just deals zero damage, which for some reason they label as a miss as well. Which is just not exactly the same thing. Also, he does just straight up interrupt my Moonlight. I'm thinking too far away. Yeah, alrighty, that was bad on my end. I need you to get closer, or stay closer for that matter. Dark Force, how much damage is it? 59, not particularly much. He does use... Um, melee. Melee? No, not melee. What's the word I'm looking for? He does use single target attacks on your characters with his spells and abilities. So, since I do have decent armor, I don't necessarily need to be worried about him killing me at all, essentially. Let's use one of those. A Mystic Quest to a scratch, pretty much. By the way, some might be wondering, hey, why don't you just repeatedly hit him? That actually hit me there too. Why don't you just repeatedly hit him? Because that should work, right? Oh, that was a quick jump. So while it should work to an extent to just repeatedly hit him, like we do with the Mana Sword in a speedrun. Wow. Alright. The problem about... I should have just used the honey. Or chocolate. Uh, the problem about that is essentially that... My hit chance is severely reduced. The Mother Sword has actually a 100% hit chance at all times, which is why it is so good about that. Also, I think I should keep up Defender. Buffy is pretty strong, to say the least. Also, I should take advantage of the fact that I can transfer charge attacks between screens now, which is not true to the original. But I'm okay with this. Way nicer. Um. Oh, what? Do we have a slidey bug? We have a slidey bug, guys. <laughs> He's super fast. We have no animations anymore. Wee! Ice skating contest. The thing is, I actually can't attack anymore. That's so weird when that happens. <laughs> animations are for jumps, anyways. Yep, I don't have animations anymore. So my only option right now would be basically starting to use Lumina or trying to see whether Salamander does any damage. much. Hundred and seventy. Let's actually see. <laughs> this looks so weird. You're surprised the cactus don't get into empty pose. I think they have basically default poses for all the animations and stuff. Alright. We can't really do much about this right now, so... I'm just going to go ahead and... Get killed here, preferably. That looks so bad. <laughs> Five rookie is better a choice than defender just in general. Oh well, I guess that's a really good point actually. 
That's a really good point, in fact. Because it lasts significantly long. Alright. Too bad. I don't count that as a death. That's just not nice. Who ate all the animations? Buffy was too hungry. I still call him Buffy. doesn't seem to remove my buffs at all, like, this spell that magic just doesn't seem to do anything, aside from reducing my stamina bar. I'm not entirely sure that's true, but it definitely feels like it. It removes some wall charges, right. But aside from that? Brings to you, Harmsy. Welcome. How are you doing? <laughs> Met remove savers. Puzzle. <laughs> Just got back from work. Welcome home. <laughs> this is going to hit. I'll check that in a second. Thank you, whoever that was, however much that was, I appreciate that. Like to not lose focus here. I think regular attacks after each time he tries to eat me are better overall. Unfortunately, he was too far over there. Huh, I can actually go up here. I wonder whether... Here. Well, I obviously can hit him while he is down there. Can I still hit him up there, though? And Silverfire, thank you so much for, holy cow, 28 rounds in a row. That's a really long time of support, my friend. Welcome back. And well, I'm glad you enjoy your stay. Thank you so much, Silverfire. That is really nice of you. Attack buff not worth it? Probably is. I just didn't have an opportunity to re-establish it. I wonder whether I'm safe from physical attacks up here. Hello. He seems so confused about me standing here. It really feels like I should be able to hit him there. The bow anyways. But it's just not quite. Maybe it's Javelin does the trick. Probably should heal now. Did I attack buff by now? Probably not. Oh, I did actually, I just remembered. Mm 
boom. Good night, sir. You think he just doesn't have a hitbox when he's up there? Yeah, that sounds about right. Hmm, the thingy. Hang on, I need to check. I should have that open more readily, I think, but forget. Oh, Stummel donated five dollars. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. There's no comment that attached to it, but thank you very much. That is nice of you. Thank you. Uh, there's no Terminators yet, is there? <laughs> It's so silly that those wolves, those wolf lords have so little HP. Oh, stop it! That is so mean of that guy. That is so mean. Alrighty, um... With energy, basically lost 6 hits no matter what. Do I... I think I use wall here. Well, I will use wall after I do the thing. Buff. With our boost. What else do we got? Probably speed up as well. I don't need defender against this guy. He doesn't ever use physical attacks. Um, by the way, this boss here is one of the examples where I think they were true to the original, but they improved it significantly. Like, the original boss fight against this guy here was just super awkward in my opinion. Like, you understand it after a short while, but it can bring you into rather awkward positions overall. Uh, where it is? There. That's what I wanted. I still wish they had like little buff symbols or maybe just kind of uh, indicate as to which spell wore off. <laughs> I did not near realize that would happen. Interesting. By the way, I can move it, probably, but I don't want to. Let's see, level 7. Alright, level 7 attack is good enough. Wee. Okay, it costs Acid Storm after that animation, so it's very predictable. Unlike the original, where he just straight up cast Acid Storm. I love the blue of the axe attack there, it's really nice. We have one more wall charge. Oh, they just push the us around. What a weirdo. Level 4 is not quite good enough, but that's okay. Magic Faded. I don't know which one that is. Okay, uses another Acid Storm. We should probably not even take much damage anyways. Okay. Speed up. Yeah, I know this crow. Basically I was wondering, wait a sec. That's true. It's not the teleporter time anymore. Wait, I still have wall. So I would actually give him a strength up. Should be less than ideal. Well, I feel like he's dead in one more hit, so maybe I should just go for it. Or maybe I should just buff me anyways, because that way I avoid the acid storm. 
Level 6 Lena. I am good night sir. Did they mess with any of the old mechanics? They did mess with a lot of mechanics. In a good way, I would say. For the most part, anyways. So I want to kill some of those master ninjas here for chests that will contain not a boomerang orb. That would be awkward. I would like to have what was it, a fairy cloak? Gimme. Thank you very much. <laughs> that worked out surprisingly well. It's not much of an improvement, but we now have defense against balloon pygmy. Actually, we had that through the ring already, didn't we? Whatever. It's pretty good. That's exactly what I was aiming for. And the next one are those guys here. You should die to that. Those guys give us a fairy crown, which is then going to be the best defensive equipment the lady can wear. I will probably use the Vambrace anyways for plus strength, however, on the Mana Beast. Wow, freeze. Rude. <laughs> you can't sneak past. Also, I did say that I would change the music. I kind of forgot. Once again, I don't mind the remake in these instances, but I do prefer the original, so that's why I'm going with this. No chest? No chest. Actually, those are not rare drops. Fairy Cloak, Fairy Helmet and Fairy Ring are the common drops. The rare drops are the orbs, which is why you usually tend to get them from most of the chests. Although they did seem to increase the rate at which you gain the orbs in the Mana Fortress here. So that's a thing. He already had Lucid Barrier. That's annoying. At least in the original they waited a little bit until they cast Lucid Barrier so I could actually get critical hits in before that. Oh hi. The nice thing is it doesn't despawn when I run around here. So, most of the time this is going to be a fairy crown. Sometimes it's going to be 1 in 16 in the original. I think they increased the chance it would be a whip orb. Alrighty, fairy crown acquired. That's exactly what I was looking for. The chance for chest drops, however, should actually be still the same. Although it feels like they increased that as well. Although I do not have any proof or anything like that that this is truly the case. The crash and kills you? Yeah. The crashes are really not fun. At least they have auto saves to mitigate that a bit, but it's not a good solution in the long run. Alright, that is going to be 7 critical hits guaranteed. Um, 
I'm tempted to use... I should just use Fire Bouquet to reduce his strength. Cursor really messes with my head every time saying I'm time still. This would be max damage already. You haven't run into trap chests in ages. If you have high enough agility, you naturally avoid traps and chests. Like, normally it's a 50 50 chance, but if you reach a certain agility threshold, you completely avoid them. They've confirmed an incoming patch with addressing zombie glitch, some of the crashes on the floor clipping via punches. Ah, oh, come on! They don't need to fix the clipping thing. That's not nice. They should focus on other stuff. To be fair, the clipping thing could be related to some other issues like characters getting knocked out of bounds and removed to Oreo, moved away from your party permanently or something like that, so it, it probably makes sense. The clipping has some places where it would get you stuck, yeah. I do have a version backed up for version basically legacy original. Although, I don't think that would be all that great to play. Oh. What? The sprite was that before, right? Oh, you're a meanie. Did he just hit a ghost? Bam. He's a lich, he has mastery over life and death. I guess that's not wrong. Next is going to be a, a magic spell again. He always alternates between physical spells and magic spells. Also, Evil Gate probably is the most damaging thing he can do, since his other spells probably don't deal as much damage. I say probably, I don't actually know that. Also, probably should just heal. Oh, that was a complete whiff on my end. Pigmas Flare. Alright, the next is going to be a magic spell again. Or he dives down. Yeah, I was wondering about that quad light. I've seen it before as well. I just figured, huh, that might have been a mistake. During Buffy fight, right? I figured that would just kind of be a mistake, I guess. But I guess not, necessarily. Ghosts can absorb arrows, why not petrify beams? I mean, that's not wrong. It's just weird. Come on. How did I miss that? Oh, I have no more critical hit. Uh, Evil Gate has a chance to insta kill. I don't actually know whether that applies to player characters, but in theory, yes. I've heard something like that. I don't think I've ever seen it. To be fair, I've never used it myself, so that's that too. Um. If 
fire bouquet to make sure he still has his attack reduced. Speed up so I can still hit him. Reliably anyways. Yeah, he just straight up hits ghosts. <laughs> That's weird. Either way, I guess our skips are going to get patched. Looks like they are watching the speedrunners after all. <laughs> I'm okay with them fixing skips and such. As long as they focus on the important matters first, like crashes and hopefully just kind of fine-tuning mechanics and such a bit. Like the animation for uh, death for many enemies is way too lengthy in my opinion. A dedication beam? Yeah, let's actually see. <laughs> let's hit the sprite! <laughs> That's so neat! No, Remake has by far the more mild amount of bugs, honestly. The original had far, far, far worse bugs, honestly. By far. There's, it's not even a... it's not much of a comparison, really. <clears throat> Should be a zero. Boom, good night, sir. Didn't level me up, so that's a bit unfortunate, but that's okay too. You call targeting that people pre major block. It's actually in the original too, Brain in Black. That's the exact same thing. The difference is that it now um, displays the damage numbers and has a petrification uh, and freeze animation for it. But the projectiles get absorbed the same way in the original too. Yes. It's the exact same. As I said, that's the only difference. It's just kind of, it reacts to it for some reason. The overcharging is it due to integer overflow? No, it's more of a faulty if clause, so to speak. Rather than anything else. No, goes to straight up absorb projectiles, that's actually a thing. So that's what I'm telling you. <laughs> you may not have noticed it, but it's definitely there, trust me. I wonder whether I should... Huh, let's see. He doesn't actually target corpses. The corpses absorb projectiles. Or more specifically, ghosts absorb projectiles. That is a thing that happens in the original too. That's just, well, how it works, so to speak. Here, you can have a fire okay. That reduces his attack power, and I should not have to worry about it much. We haven't used a single fairy, will not. Wait, no, 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 let me attack! I wanted to hit him right here, actually. Bam! So, I can actually see when it's going to cast a spell. Let's see how dangerous that is. 101. Substantial, but not too much. Plus I get healed from my loosened beams, uh, from the other attacks there too. 17 from the flying. Oh wait, that's bad. It's going to reflect, isn't it? Yup. Now I'm going to have my strength reduced, because I'm a dummy.
That was not clever. It's actually really interesting that you can still target it back there with spells. Doesn't much do much for you, but interesting nonetheless. So, what I wanted to do right here... You can actually hit the Mana Beast. When it's flying in. I love that you can do that, by the way. It immediately starts the second cycle. So there's that too. Or more specifically, it's just immediately restarts the cycle that way around. Level 4 is pretty substantial overall. Thanks to... Luna weapon, I actually recover my HP that I lose too. Makes it pretty neat. Bam! Hit you! <laughs> I love that you can hit the one of these while it's flying by like this. It's so good. Do you have a one-player three-controller run? No, I don't have three controllers for this. I guess I could somehow create it, but it would be a bit weird. Um, here, just to guarantee that I actually hit. Bam! I wanted to hit it while it's flying by a second time there. Oh, for the original I have one player three controller run. Yes, but not for the remake. The remake only was released recently, so I don't have much of that yet. This is the first challenge run I'm doing here. Bam. Ah, oh, way too late. I wonder whether you can hit him while he's flying over there, too. Either way, this makes actually solo character challenges significantly easier. Because I don't have to worry about the lasers anymore, so... Probably going to be nice overall. It's going to hit me. But that's okay. Level 6 we hopefully reach. Not quite. Bam! Got you! Oh, you can hit it over there too! That's so awesome! <laughs> Flammy's Big Bro is mad. They actually explained that the Mana Beast is basically the amalgamation of all the monsters in the world, kind of thrown together. Because apparently monsters are created through mana energy or something like that. I actually don't know the exact story, but they did explain it. Kind of thing here. This fight looks definitely improved. It is so much more awesome in the or uh, in the remake here. I love. I really, 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 really like what they did with this. I don't know what that ticking noise is though. That is strange. It's mana, man. Mega Zord. Mana Zord? By the way, you can extend the cycle from him staying here by hitting him while he's flying by from the right side. Substantial enough that he staggers. She hit the mana beast. <laughs> It's much more clear when you can hit and can't hit the beast. Yes, absolutely. A mist.
He does seem to be much more consistently, however, use his Lucent Beams compared to the original. Like, it seems to be two per cycle, or maybe three sometimes. Maybe one? Looks like one. Yeah, that was only one. By the way, I never actually understood that this is not the mana beast flying at you in a fury circle or spiral, but it's actually him using fire breath at you. I never realized that until I saw it in the remake. I've played this game a little bit, the original that is. He has pretty fancy hair, by the way. Zero? Bam! No, he stays over here. It's a bit weird. I don't think that's quite intended, to be completely honest. I'm trapped in the corner, by the way. He just restarts the cycle here. Where he can cast Lucid Beam if he wants to. You can actually see the size of the thing. It's pretty sweet. How to kill the beast when he's flying in. Never seen this happen. I knew it to happen thanks to... Who was it? Someone posted it in the Secret Mana Discord. I don't know who it was anymore. Oh. That was a lot of damage. <laughs> that was a lot of damage. I was not prepared for that. Holy cow. Alright, we probably want to use Lucid Barrier here. Looks like we could have finished this run yesterday and would have been fine. I thought it would take, like, four more hours, but this is substantially less than that. Alrighty, bring it on! Okay, that didn't work. Okay, I'm going to kill it then while it's flying by from the right side. At least that's the plan. By the way, you can't get too close to the Mana Beast. It actually still has a collision box there. Don't use slow some beam because I want to hit from the right side. Thank you very much, sir. I wish you a good night. Ah, I messed up. Magic faded. And the green is because I'm using Luna Saber. Luna Saber absorbs magic from, uh, uh, absorbs HP from enemies. Basically, I absorb health from from whatever damage I do with my weapon, thanks to Luna Moon Saber. The first challenge has been completed. 18 deaths. Most of those are to Jabberwocky. Jabberwocky was a monstrosity. With the solo sprite, you should not have too much trouble with Jabberwocky, but... Solo boy? I can't see a way around to straight up leveling right now. And even then, you would need a lot of resources. Probably possible, I would say. 
Could I interrupt his attacks like that in the original? No. Not really. There were certain things you could interrupt, and if you did, you would see the mana beast flying in circles for way too long. Which was definitely a glitched animation. As in, you could not intentionally do that, let's put it that way. I'm actually, frankly, not entirely sure whether that's intentional in the remake here. But, oh well. Also, fun fact, if you remove the boy from the party, he would not be in the final cutscene in the original. However, the lady, even if you remove her from the party, she would still be in the final cutscene. I like the music. I do think there's supposed to be another scene here, but it never loads for me, by the way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a scene there, it just doesn't load for me. I don't even know which one it was. You're kind of disappointed with the ending. There's a bug where, or well, there's various bugs, it seems, where it just randomly doesn't load certain sections of the ending, Orion Line. I think it's supposed to be the exact same as the original, but it just doesn't load for some reason. Yeah, I've seen that crow. That was really weird, too. As that's kind of when I started noticing, I probably am supposed to have more than those scenes that I have. You want more? Hmm. I feel like it's, it would be really difficult to come up with something more than that. And something more than what includes, uh, is included in the original, so... I think it's fine the way they did it, honestly. It's my opinion. Alrighty, by the way, the patch notes are out. In the upcoming patch, they're supposed to be reduce the frequency of application errors. Basically, they tell us that they probably can't fix all of them. Fix an error in which characters transition to a blacked out screen. So, Jair's out of bounds characters are no longer available. Fix an error in which the character's color changes. Hasn't happened to me too much, but PJ started green. <laughs> fix an error in which half the screen will start. Never seen that one before. Fix an error in which party members revive the zero HP. The zombie glitch. I really want that fixed, thank you very much. Fix an error in which conversation would not finish on certain maps. Huh. I have no idea what that means. Fix an error in which players slip through floors and maps that are two that are two floors. That's a weird Yeah, that's basically us snapping through the area. That's unfortunate that they fixed that, but whatever. Fix an error that stops enemy movement when used in a combination of some attacks and magic. That stops enemy movement? Wait, that's a bug? They might fix the thing that we did, guys. Huh. Fixed bow and arrow behavior in battles against some monsters. Oh. Do you want to tell me that I can no longer hit the wall face with a bow when its eyes is closed? Oh man. Add the guy to display for the switch button on the ring command screen. A guide display? As in which ring command we have open? Not sure what that means. 
Uh, who was that? Cryptase, subscribe for two euros in a row. <laughs> no, you are awesome. Thank you, Cryptase. Welcome back. I'm really glad you enjoy your stay. Thank you so much. I think it's referring to when normal enemy gets stuck on the ground, remaining invincible for 20 seconds. Oh! Oh, that's good. I really want that fixed too. Some hitbox and bosses HP needed need to be fixed. I'm not sure about the hitboxes, but that's what Crow mentioned is definitely a thing. But bosses HP? I'm not sure what do you mean with that. I would like for bosses to have like three or four times as much HP. Maybe. Maybe not quite that extreme, but you get the idea. Would be interesting. Added an icon for the tag, they're currently using a ring on the ring common screen. Good! Like, I have no trouble telling the colors apart, but someone who is colorblind? Or especially if people just don't know that they need to look at the colors, that's... That's one of the things that they need to add. Added an item effect display for item rings and the ring command screen. Add an item effect display for item rings and the ring command screen. Oh, what the items do! I get it, alright. The muscles are way too weak, well... They are the same as the, or or the original. Actually, some are more dangerous even. Some are easier, some are more dangerous. I think they were rather true to the original overall. You mean the tooltip? Yeah, I think it's go probably going to be a tooltip. Art mode or New Game Plus would be really nice, actually, I do agree. New Game Plus where you can't have the mana sword to be from the get-go. <laughs> Yeah, I don't expect it either, Crow. Would be nice, though. The conversation business, depending on how it was translated, might conceivably refer to the chest duplication. Oh! Yeah, actually, that's true. That's probably du chest duplication in that case. Just duplication is still a thing. I mean, did they already roll out the patch, or is it not out yet? They said soon, in early March. So right now it's still a thing, yes. But chest duplication might be a thing of the past, which I'm okay with, honestly. Like the mana swords, while interesting and intriguing, a type of a run. I feel like it's going to be a bit more dynamic, having to work with weapons that you normally have access to. You happy we got what we got? That's nice. Overall, I'm happy too. Doesn't mean it couldn't get better though. <laughs> uh, I do have a snapshot, yes. There would be a lot of rerouting to do without the mana sword. Yeah, we would start relying more and more on spells now again. That would be a fair bit of rerouting to say the least. Physical damage, however, would still be a major factor, I think. I wonder whether they fix double weapons too, or whether they're just going to skip down that. Conversation thing could be referring to a bug that happened to me in the wind pass. You can get stuck in looping conversation with your sprite's grandpa if you dash into him. Right, that's a thing too. We'll see. It definitely feels like a bit of a weird translation for the patch notes. In terms of bringing it into English, I assume maybe the translator didn't necessarily know what it's about. What's the Gematsu site? I don't know that page. So after they fix the errors, I would like them t uh, to see them add some more responsive gameplay 
personally. Just in the off chance one of the people responsible or having any influence in the remake, I do have a list of things that I would change, which probably wouldn't be much work. I say probably because I don't actually know the setup. But I do have various things that I would like to see just kind of change a little bit. To make it a more smooth overall experience. Gematsu is just a game news site, I see. So it probably was somewhere in the original Japanese site, I imagine. Uh, actually, there's an announcement there indeed. Yep, that's in Japanese. I know only a fifth of the symbols they have displayed. <laughs> so let's just tune us a lot. Mm. Hey Drumbo, welcome. How are you doing? Also, by the way, what are we going to do now? No need to spend money on walnuts helps keep weapons forged, but you'd have to decide what weapons to find the orbs for and upgrade. Right. I mean, the most obvious ones are the spear and the sword, because you do get the weapon orbs for those weapons the earliest out of any other weapon, and thus have the highest initial base damage. I'm actually not much, much of a fan of the spear in the remake. In comparison to the sword, it's just clunkier overall. I think that upgrading the sword might be a thing. Who knows? We had food for the week. Wow. That sounds like quite a thing. Good luck with that, Trumbo. Hello. There we go. I call Crescent Moon. Surprises me. Oh. <laughs> right, so anyways, Rumba, please. Yeah. Still present news. I mean... I'm not surprised. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
If they were clever, they would have used the actual moon phase. Well, I feel like that would have been a lot of effort for something most people would not even necessarily recognize. I'm okay with that. You got to love the autosave. The autosave is really nice, I do agree. I do agree, Valdemort. Also, I just realized, I thought initially, huh, I could just use autosaves in order to get that save file saved from the lady here. I just realized I can't go back anymore with the autosave. It's probably into moon. <laughs> Looks like it. Can be done with a few lines of cool plus fallback. Considering that it's supposed to be a static image, I highly doubt it's not that much more. I guess it wouldn't be more than, let's say, a day or two. You're not entirely wrong. But that kind of requires a day or two that they can invest into other things instead. Yeah, that makes sense, Valdemort. I kind of forgot about that. Either way, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching, for listening, and for lurking. I hope you enjoyed the show one way or another. And well, maybe until next time. Thank you very much.